recent uh, video made national headlines showing a Philadelphia man trying to kidnap a girl in broad daylight. Thankfully, the girl was able to get away. It's an incident that raises the question, what should children do in situations like that? WFMZ's Rosa Duarte talks to a local expert about the best ways children can defend themselves. What I thought was great was the girl's reaction. Um, she didn't give up. She started screaming, which is one of the first things we teach the children. For Sensei Rob Wetmore of Leading Edge Martial Arts, self-defense is one of the fundamentals he teaches his young students. We want these kids to be able to protect themselves in any situation and hope to God they never have to put it to work. Gotcha, kid. No way, do. Clap. Ow. Kick. Easy. Palm strike. Kick. Sensei Rob tells me the best defense a child has is their voice, but what they choose to yell out can make all the difference. We teach them to yell, help, stranger, I don't know you. Help, stranger, I don't know you. They yell it as loud as they can. Use their most powerful weapon, their voice. Try it. Help, stranger, I don't know you. Louder. Help, stranger, I don't know you. We're going to attack her as their both hands on the kid and the child strikes into the attacker's ears, it'll stun them, they'll let go. We're trying to teach them to create a window of opportunity to escape, that moment to get away. And according to the sensei, practicing for the worst possible scenario is better than not doing anything at all. As a father, and I'm a father of two, I could not even imagine raising a child in today's society if I hadn't prepared them for every situation that could possibly present itself. Rosa Duarte, 69 News. Such a shame we have to prepare yeah, for every true. situation.